The Comerford Petting Zoo will bring their exotic zoo to the Big E Fairgrounds tomorrow and along with it, controversy. They are the group that sparked a social media uproar this fall during the Eastern States Exposition. Animal rights activists claimed they abused animals in their exhibits. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo live from our MGM studios with more tonight. Audrey. I spoke with the founder of Western Mass animal rights activists earlier today. She tells me that those videos taken at the Big E and shared on social media and in our newscast were only the beginning for their organization. She says that protesting Comerford Zoo events like the one happening this weekend is important in sharing their message and their stance against any traveling animal exhibit. Comerford um has been doing this for many years. They, um, they do it every February or March. Whenever the Comerford Zoo rolls into town, the Western Mass animal rights advocates aren't far behind. They also have many wild animals that, um, they, that do not belong in a traveling petting zoo, um, including zebra, kangaroo, lemurs, um, and many other animals, especially from tropical climates. Becker says their group has gained traction ever since videos taken during last year's Big E went viral. Critics say they show mistreatment of two of Comerford's exotic animals. I believe it had um, definitely an impact. They're apparently retiring the elephants. You don't know until you see until you're there, but that's what we've been told. Western Mass News reached out to the Big E to see if they're still expecting elephants at the fair in September, with fair officials saying, quote, this year the Com Comerford Petting Zoo will present elephant education shows, a meet and greet, and photo opportunity daily at their Gate 4 location. We also reached out to the Comerford Zoo to see if they could confirm whether or not they would retire their elephants, but we could not make contact before this broadcast. However, when we spoke with the Comerfords during the fair in September, they responded to the accusations that their animals are mistreated. It's troublesome, it's like me telling you you're no good at your job. I don't know you, uh, but it, it's troublesome. Shuttled around like cargo in these tiny, cramped cages. Activists say the petting zoo event this weekend, geared towards children, does as much damage as the exhibit at the fair. There's a lot of sanctuaries for wild animals, so it's not necessary for the wild animals to be coming to to the Big E, so, so many places that they don't belong in. According to a USDA inspector's report from 2017, the Comerford Zoo actually was dinged for what appeared to be overgrown toenails on one of their elephants. However, when we showed those controversial biggie videos to members of the MSPCA, they said they could find no animal cruelty violations. Reporting live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.